Y'all seen the title of the video. Just advice from me, from me to you. Now, I say, now normally I'd say do not listen to advice from somebody on the internet. But look, just hear me out, okay? Just hear me out. Now, a dad thing, I like to say, I like I like to pitch in that phrase, um, nurture, nature versus nurture. Yeah, how I see it, it's just, you're coming from one environment, and then you go into another one, and you're just adapting to it. I, 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 could, I, I could be totally wrong. I forgot, I forgot exactly what it meant, but if I had to paraphrase it, that's how I would do it. Now, adapting, I feel like adapting is like, you know how there's just one thing, one mission, one attribute, what level you have to be, what place you have to visit, somebody you have to talk to, a side mission, something you have to do, have to be, have to do, have to get, have to acquire, to progress through something, let's say a game, like a side mission or whatever, I feel like learning how to adapt, like learning how to adapt is a primary skill you have to have uh, if you want to be something in life, okay? Like, and you have to be. You cannot, as a teenager, okay? Let's say as a teenager, all right? You cannot have the same mindset as a teenager, 14 to 17, I'm gonna say that, and expect to really have a good life with the same mindset from 14 to 17 as a 25, 30 year old. You, you can't, you really can't. Especially if it's a bad mindset, you can't do that. You're not gonna make it far. Or if you do make it far, you, it's not gonna be a good life for you. Y'all see the bums? Y'all see the homeless people walking around? Life hit them. So, you need to adapt, bro. You need to adapt. You have to change your mindset. You have to. It's constant. You have to. You don't ever want to peak in high school because. If school. Let's say school is not the main option when you get out of high school. Do your best in high school so you can have something to lean back on, like college. Earn scholarships, you can go, college pay you to go. You know, that college pay you to go. Boom, you get this career field. Let's say that's not what you wanna do in life, okay? Just have it as a backup plan, you know? Just do your best in school, please. Like, please, for just focus in school. All I'm gonna say is, um, school, I feel like college, either gonna be the the main option or the backup. That's just how, that's just how I see it. You don't have to see it that way, but I feel like it's a good it's a good uh backup plan. Do not focus on getting into a relationship, okay? This goes for all the hopeless romantics, the simps. Don't, okay? I'm not the red pill. I'm not doing no red pill any of that. I'm just gonna say it is cool to be in one. Okay, it's cool to be in one, but do not focus on getting into one. Like that should not be your main focus because that's when you just get sidetracked. You, you, you don't really care about anything else. You just need a you need a female, you need a male as your companion, your 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 partner. You know? You should never do that. You do your thing, you keep you at the top, you're in your grind. I swear somebody will somebody will appreciate you and treat you the way you want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? They'll be there. I swear they'll be there. I swear they will. You may not find it now. You may not find it when you're 20 years old. You may not, you may not even find it until you're like 40 or 50. But I swear your person will be there, okay? Okay. This is my this is my advice to teens teenagers just like me okay once you get that job that first job do not spend recklessly okay 
uh, I say the first thing you should buy once you get that, uh, get your money stack, you know, you, you're stacking up on your money, get a car, get a car. That's a better way of transport, uh, transportation, better transportation, more ways to get it, more ways to make more money. Boom. For uh, all the people out there, you don't have to um, ask your parents or your guardians or your sister, brother, cousin to take you anywhere. Or you don't gotta be home at you don't even have to pay for an Uber every time you want to go somewhere, you know? That's the perks. You can just take yourself. Okay. You can just take yourself. School, you don't have to worry about the bus being late or not coming at all. Coming at all. You don't got to wait at the bus stop. You know, blah, blah, blah. Just once you get your first job, it's like, it's sure you cannot be just a designer and you're still riding a school bus. Get your pro get your priority straight. Go get the car. Go get the car. Get the, get the car first. Boom. Then you can spend a little bit on clothes. But yeah, once you get the car, spend a little bit on clothes here and there. It's not really advice. More of an opinion. But I feel as if to really reach like really feel like you've made it or feel like you've done something or seeing real glory or real success i feel like you should hit rock bottom i feel like you have to have your back against the wall or your trap and you gotta fight and claw, like you know what i'm saying fight and claw your way out <clears throat> excuse me it's okay to be spoon fed like a little bit like you know what i'm saying it's okay to accept some handouts but Accepting every single handout is bad for you. It's bad. You know they say too much of anything, and I mean I, I do mean anything is bad for you because it's true. Too much handouts. Now you're expecting someone. You're spoiled. You're expecting someone to give you something every single time because you just all your all, all your um, you're expecting it because all your life they've been giving it to you. It's been given. Everything has been given to you. You never earned anything, and that's kind of terrible as a person that like nothing you've done is really from you like you, you didn't do anything it's been given to you you know so what uh, silver platter fed spoon uh spoon fed handout whatever you like whatever you want to call it do accept accept those you know be appreciative of those things but i find it's way better don't don't deny them. But I feel like it's way better if that would be if that was actually your money that you put into the apartment. Now no one can tell you. Nobody can tell you shit. Okay, no one can because you did. You know, the car you bought, you bought that with the money you worked for, the hours you spent at the job, clocked in. That's your money. That's your car. You know, that's your pride right there. Levels to this shit. But you get what I'm saying. But anyways, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, like, comment. Ew, I really don't even like saying this, but yeah. If you like the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, when I come up with another idea, I'll see you later. So.